there's this constant ringing in your ear, are you enough? When a group of women line up to buy a ticket to come and see me and to hear what I had to say, and they're all excited just to hang out with each other, and in those few moments, for a brief moment in time, I'm enough. I'm sorry to hear you lost your husband, which sounds very irresponsible. I mean, it's not like I laid him down at Walmart, forgot where I put him. That's what I learned the hard way of my trauma and my childhood and my marriage and my relationship with my children. I wanted all those people to help me feel like I was enough. None of them are capable of that. Now I am two years widowed and I am just now kind of getting used to thinking about maybe have a date, I don't know. But I have these well-meaning girlfriends. They created me a profile, an online dating profile by the look at some of those pictures. They don't even know how to take a selfie. They just stand in the bathroom and take a picture. If you blow the picture up behind them, the toilet's filthy. I'm just saying, you better shut that lid and move out of your mama's house. I, I look back and go, man, the pressure I must have put on my husband for him to feel like I need to help her feel good about her. I wish I had learned that so that I could have talked to him before he died. We just ran out of time. A widow. Doesn't that sound awful? It's what they call spiders and old women. I want to feel like I am enough. And the devil is in the business of convincing us that we aren't. Because Jesus died to prove to us we were enough, that we were worth dying for.